Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name, sheep's the game. We're in our kind of, we're in a kind of lull just now because scanning's almost finished. We have one and a half days left. I'm heading to Aaron tomorrow to get finished up. But there's not that much to do now until sheep start lambing. It's really dawning on me, like, what do this is why people have cattle, I think, to keep them busy through the winter, because I'm like, what am I going to do now <laughs> until lambing just... We're about to feed the triplets, first day feeding the triplets. I'm only going to feed the triplets this year. New thing we're trying. I'll, I'll feed more after, but we're only going to feed the triplets this year. Let's try and work out the weights. So we've got the snacker on, we've put some cake in it. I should have had the camera rolling for all that stuff because I put the wheel on this morning and everything. It was quite clever how I managed to prop it up, but probably not very health and safety positive. Anyway, we got it done. New wheels on the snacker. I'm going to roll it forward, take a drop of cake out of it, and then weigh it. And then based on that, that'll tell me how much each drop puts out, I think. Okay, that looks a bit more like a kind of full drop, a bit of dust in there because it's the first stuff from the... Well, there's a combination, a little bit of lamb creep. Maybe I shall went another one again. Ugh, let's just go another one again. Such a waste, I know, I know. What I'll do is I'll just roll it behind this time. He says, with no confidence. Right, that, that looks like a better drop. Let's get a shovel, let's get it weighed. I thought this would be big enough, but maybe not. Oh. Why didn't I roll it further forward? That is the question. We'll make it egg and spoon race now. Let's go. Right, I got my arm scales looked out. Here we go, she'll be raging. She's not had a chance to tidy up since breakfast. Right. And then this little bit. Okay. Oh, did I drop a bit? Yeah. Okay, it's not, it's not quite digital scales, but it's fairly, looks not bad. If it's saying that's 800, have you seen that's 800? With the wee bits I missed, 800 grams per drop. So 50 sheep, and I want to give them 300 grams each. It's putting out 800 grams. So really, I want to work out 300 grams times 50 is 15 kilograms. So 15 kilograms divided by 800. So 15,000 divided by 800 equals 18.75. So I want to put out, let's say, 19 drops. So 19 drops for the first lot and then half of that for the second drop, so call it 10. Let's just call it 20 and 10. And that's really easy numbers. So 20 drops for the triplets today. Five weeks pregnant, give them 300 grams. I'm no expert on sheep nutrition, if I'm honest. I get away with a lot of things because we have plenty of grass. So we don't have to be too good at the concentrate feeding side of things. Grass and Crystallix does most of our job. And this year, that's all the twins and triplets, sorry, twins and singles we'll be getting until after lambing. We will feed them after lambing though, because I think it's better to feed for milk rather than feed for big lambs. Just my thoughts. So always nice to see shots of the CF Moto in action like we're seeing here, but you guys love seeing landscape views and some of the surroundings here at the farm at home and it is a beautiful part of the world. Ayrshire where we live here just on the outskirts of Comarnock which is the town you can see is just a beautiful green place and we have a lot of dairy farms surrounding us here so the place looks lovely. We had the tipsy bin feature earlier in the season but now we've been using it for a little while. Use it for feeding the rams which you're going to see shortly. And it's just, if I lift this up, what's happening here? Suction? Yeah, suction. If I lift this up, you see our feed meal here that we're feeding the tups. 
just a, a ram mix, pretty generic ram mix. A couple of buckets they get. Idea of this, we have just problems with rats here. And of course, I don't buy top mix in big volumes. This was half a ton. We, we put in here, it holds 700 kilos. That's the stuff there. Megafab, it's an Irish company. Give them a shout, they're on Instagram. You can get them on the email, megafab.ie. And really decent. This all came about through Adrian at iFarm We Farm. A lot of you guys will follow him as well. Incredible YouTube channel. Just a really good, you know, just doing farming jobs, which I love. And I got chatting to him one day on the phone. We've spoke a few times about various things and we got talking about the tipsy bin, asked him what it was like, and he says, ah, oh, sure, he's, he's a good friend of his. And next thing I know, I have a tipsy bin here. So couldn't, couldn't say more nice things about them, but it's handy because I just dump it at the fuel gate here, put the mix in it, no worries for rats, rain, birds. And yeah, I don't even need to haul bags into the field. I literally just come here and a couple of buckets, walk them over, job done. Just an idea, folks, something to think about. I think Adrian uses it for his calf feed. I think he puts his calf feed in it. I didn't tell you why it's called a tipsy bin. It's because it's got an angle here so that when it starts getting empty, it's too heavy now, but when it starts getting empty, you can. Uh, uh, you can tip it towards you for scraping the feed out. That's the idea. Here come the boys. It, I should say essential things that every farm vehicle should have. Uh, a pair of old boxers. These are used to wipe the screen. I know. Because they get condensation on the inside, especially when the heat, heated seats on. That is the... That is the only issue with heated seats, you get a bit of condensation and of course baby wipes for if you have any accidents. Right lads, keep calm. A blue Texel there that you see at the front, he almost died. Stuck on his back, he's now blind in one eye. But he's, he's recovered well, Lizzie gave him a lot of TLC. This was before she was doing a lot of vlogging, they made great, great content actually, just seeing how she brought him back. But He's high. We still have some of the tubs out with the ewes and it's kind of that thing like I'm sure a lot of you do this too, I've been on loads of farm The tubs end up coming off the ewes and getting put in some little rubbish field that you don't really need Or that you don't, um, you're not saving for lambing so it's usually not that great a field Which isn't great for them when they're coming back at their weakest point so we, we give them a little feed just to keep them ticking over It's not, it's not expensive, they don't get a lot Put three troughs out, you know, it's way overkill with the troughs, but it's always better with the rams, you don't want them fighting, and it lets the smaller guys get in. Although we don't really have smaller guys now, except this guy. This guy is what we call a rig. Now a rig is a lamb that hasn't been castrated properly, or not castrated at all, you could argue. Usually because it only has one testicle, and sometimes we kid ourselves on, we say we'll leave it. Now we just ring it if it only has one testicle, but at some point last year we've said I'll leave it, the Tesco might come down, we might catch it later but we just left it after that because it ends up getting too big, that's the problem so we have a sheep here with one testicle and it's going to end up being our most expensive lamb sold because it's a monster now, he's absolutely huge and he cost me £110, he jumped into the neighbours you hogs and it cost me £110 to buy a little bottle of stuff from the vet, you have to jag them just to basically like a morning after pill for sheep. So yeah, cost me £110 for that. Plus he's feeding. He might end up being our most expensive lamb that we sell this year, but uh, he's cost us a bit as well. And of course the Crystal X. Oh, clean the dung at it. God's sake, boys. Always the thing with Crystal X, I say to you folks. And, and listen, I'm very pro Crystal X because of the support they've gave me and various other reasons. The fact I think it's the best. But look at your licks, right? See if your licks aren't smooth like that. It's probably a sign the sheep are using their teeth too much. You know what I mean? These Crystalix blocks, they're always smooth because the sheep can only lick them. And you need to watch if your blocks are too soft, they'll rip at them with their teeth, which is definitely, in my opinion, one, it's not good for their teeth, and two, it's highly likely they're getting too much of the stuff. It should be hard work for them. It saves them taking too much. The, the girls you see here are absolutely 
used to being fed. They're just being really, really awkward. Well, it's the first time. You know, after one day, they'll be waiting for you. In fact, most days they're waiting for me at the gate just now when I'm feeding the tups. I'm just sending the drone up just now so I can talk you through as we see the drone there. You can see this field's getting a little bit wet and heavy. There is still a bite on here. I'm not in a desperate rush to get them off this field. But they're making tracks, which I don't like. But honestly, the great thing with sheep, you know, shower of rain. And that's all forgotten about. Let's try and get ahead of them and bring them back to me. They're fit, like they're, you know, they're, they're keen to just run. This is a way, by the way, guys, to check a wet field. I'm going to start doing this every day now when it's not bloody raining, which is rare right enough. So that's, I actually think this might be the solution for outdoor lambing, to be perfectly honest with you. And I know some people have started doing it on hill lambings because the amount of diesel you burn, there's one nodding ahead, the amount of uh, petrol you burn running about checking sheep on the hill, get a drone. It's a no brainer. Business expense. Battery level is low. Uh, the aircraft will go to the home. We'll have 20% battery, seconds. so. And I haven't charged them because I didn't plan to use it today. But look at the girls there. Girls, girls, girls. You are beautiful girls. They are. Come on. You're absolutely going. But can you come back down towards me? There we go. Come on. Look at the big waddle on now. They're getting heavy. Come on, girls. Down the hill. I'm only 20% battery. And I don't want to go up the hill to get the drone back. Here they come. That's me in the distance you can see there, sitting in the buggy. I don't run too hard, girls. I don't want that either. Well, it just dawned on me there's more than 50 here because Lizzie put some leading twins in as well. Oh, so maybe give them 21 drops. We have a Logic uh, electric snacker that we're going to put on this week, hopefully. Because this one's no use on the buggy. Great on the bike, but come on, girls. But no use in the buggy. We've won them over. Here they come. Come on! I might just do it by hand. Today. I'll do it by hand. And I can pick the spots I like. I know I'm disturbing the piece, this is the last one. I'll leave you to it. We need to get this girl in. You won't be able to see in the GoPro, but she's got a big, big back right foot. Now we've nearly got on top of the feet. Like what a difference this year. Foot vaccine, that's me now, I'm a stalwart, I swear by it. But she's got a she's walking on it, not too bad right enough. Everyone's getting a little bite there. Blueface Lester, there's one of them carrying quads. Hopefully she's getting a good feed, is it her? Yes, it might be her. No, it's not. There she is, with a big four written on her, right in front of me. So she's having quads, allegedly. It'd be nice to see her getting a bit of feeding. Some girls here, homebred ones and bought in ones, have never been fed. So they just don't know what the scenario is there. That's just not a good looking sheep over there, whatever her problem is. That's a bought in one. As sheep farming goes, apart from you know watching a nice batch of ewes and lambs running, this is one of the most enjoyable jobs in sheep farming, is feeding your sheep. And I'm like, ugh, I'm not going to feed that many this year, but then when I start doing this, I'm like, ah, oh, it's so nice, you see them up close, and you just sit and listen to the sounds as well. Incredible animals. Right, let's, uh, where's my bucket? Right, we're going to go and move some sheep now. Well, we're here with the dream team now, here he is. Jock, this is highly dangerous. Mum's like, oh, you can't film that, but like, I am a, a snail's climb pace. It. I'm holding him. He's even got a helmet on camera. Climb it. You want to climb in? No. Ready? Do uh, it. Climb in. Oh. Oh. Right, ready to drive? Swing your legs. Right. Oh. Right, let's go. You steer. No, don't beep. Don't beep, it's a Sunday. Don't beep. No beeping in the Lord's Day. It's in the Bible. Push my buttons. Steer it left. Go left. No. Chop, go left. 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 Go that way. Chop that way. That way. Turn that. 
On that. Yes, boy. Turn that. Yes. No beeping. My sheep game. Your sheep game. My sheep. He came all day. Sheep game. There you go. Say hello. Good morning, sheep fan. <laughs> Good morning. Hi Florence. Hi Florence. Hi Jasper. Hi Jasper. Hi Monty. Hi Monty. Hi Regan. Hi Regan. Hi Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, I'm the Jock, you're going to play rugby? Lift it up. Lift it up. Pull it over. Lift this one up, lift it up, lift it, that's it, up, up. Push, on. Yeah, that's Taylor. That's Taylor. Come on, Dad will tackle you. Uh, oh. Nailed him. I should go back to rugby, look how good that <laughs> Oh, Jock, you'll... you. can it! The problem is, it, there's, there's no real point. You want to climb in? There's no real point in Jock playing rugby. Getting into rugby because he's well, he's half English, so he'll be rubbish at it. Ah, oh, nasty, nasty. That's blue stuff. Right, Jock, do, if actually, let's just not have Jock. Look at that. Look at this. It's blue. What does it taste like, Jock? Blue. Right, let's let's move some sheep. Might be the first time. Well, it is the first time in 2024. You've seen me in a t-shirt. Yes, your son is out. Angus is here as well. Mum, as always, is always here helping. <laughs> What's wrong, Jock? Jock, I just lifted you over that side. And now you want to come, now you want to come back. Plan is, singles into here. Twins in the trailer to a little bit of grass next door. Jock run riot. Angus, don't get trampled. You hit your finger? Come on. Oh, you got oh, nettles. There's wee nettles there. Come on. Drink bottle. Right, let's go get the sheep. Where's Spot? This is Spot's first day back out since uh, his operation. That's a lie. We had him out a little bit yesterday. It's his second day out. I'm going to get Spot, Jock. Let's get Spot. Right, you ready? You help spot out. What's your head? Bottom one. That way. That's it. That's it. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Okay, Spotty. Good dog. Come on. Good dog, Spot. Let's everybody see you. How are you? Good dog, Spot. You're okay. Good dog. Good dog. You're unsure of that thing in my hand. That'll do, Spot. That'll do. Good dog. You're okay. It's just a GoPro. It's a GoPro. You'll get used to it, pal. Mike's used to it now too. You clapping spot? You clap for spot, Jock? No, no, that kind of clap. He's clapping his hands. That's a clap. Maybe that's a Scottish word. Lizzie, is clap, clapping the dog, is that Scottish? Yeah. You wouldn't say clap for like pet? No, you say pat. Pat the dog. Stroke the dog. Pat's a dog's name. Yeah. Pat the dog. Pat, but patting to me is like that. <laughs> or a clap is like that. That's an interesting one. There you go, our avid American fans, let us know. Do, would you ever say clap the dog? We'd say clap the dog. But would you ever say clap the dog? <laughs> Lizzie's clapping her hands. That is, Jock did that when I said when I said clap the dog. See, that's the problem because Jock um, has been brought up bilingual. Sometimes he thinks that I'm speaking English when actually I'm speaking Scots. We'll get there, we'll get there. Right, I can't see the sheep. They should be here. Look at this. Look at this. Bloody hell. Kids. Hey Spot, I can't see the sheep. I, I thought there was sheep in this field. Always good if you're, if you're out in the countryside and you see some a bit of rubbish, just pick it up. Little and often, that's the key. It's a famous still game quote for you. For some reason when, it, when the GoPro beeps, it must sound like a whistle. She just took off and went, or he just, I need to get used to calling them he because I'm used to working with bitches all the time. Okay, spot, look here. Stand, 
stand. I'm not sure what the command is to get him to look up. We may get go like. Ch -ch. Are we? I'll do spot. I'll do spot. I'll do spot. Come here, good dog. He's been out of action for a while. See, see. Ch -ch. Stand. Spot. Are we? I'll do spot. Are we? Just need to just fine tune him again. Off he goes there. Not lost any pace, that's for sure. Ah, he's still got it. Come by! Shh, shh. Howie! Ah, he's just been a bit brash, but... Howie! Howie! Spot! The whistle, he does stop much better for the whistle, but I've not got my whistle. Howie! And I can't whistle. Dodgy teeth. <laughs> Once he gets it out of his system, he'll listen better. He's only young, two year old. Stand there! Stand there! Stand! Stand! How are you? Stand! Stand! Stand here! Hey! Walk up! Stand! Stand at the spot! Tell the spot! Good dog, Spot. You're a good dog. In your bed. It does run quite well to be fair. That's you seeing him after he's been off for six weeks for an operation. Um, so you're seeing him at his worst, I would say, and I'm I'm delighted with him. He's great, isn't he? Ah, he slops better with the whistle, definitely, because he's still not get quite used to the voice change from myself to Neil that we bought him from. So, and even more so, Lizzie, like he's just hard for Lizzie to get him to stop because he just doesn't respect that accent. <laughs> Only joking, joking. Right. <laughs> Lizzie says nah, neither do I, but I do. I very much do. I'm I'm Scottish, I know my place. I, I know to respect my masters. Stirring, stirring. Right. Twins out of these. Let me see, let me see. you've not seen the sheep yet. I'm not even sure what this wee batch is, Lizzie. Was this lame ones that we pulled out and a no. special girl here that has twins every single year. We should give her a name. Let's have a name in the comments. You, you gave lots of names for potential baby names. Let's, let's. And the interesting thing, Lizzie, of all the baby names that were suggested, there wasn't one that we think of. Yeah, we have, we have a name in our head now, and not one person suggested it. It's good that. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. Catch them by surprise. Um, it will catch them by surprise, but it's also an obvious choice. Oh yeah, that's. Yeah, yes. yeah. So okay, no logs. Let's shed them out. Do you want to shed, Lizzie? Where's Jock went? Alright, that's fine. Right, click him. You okay, Spot? He's... Get out, he says. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't seen me yet. Oh. <laughs> hey, you! You let Spot out? Yeah. You cheeky wee boy. Spot out? Spot out? I just put Spot away. Spot you clever wee boy, there we go. Climbed up on the back of the pickup and let it dug it. Spot's out, I see that. Right, well, Spot's out now. Hey, it's beautiful, isn't it? Nice fresh bite for them here. One of the great things with those Gallagher poles is you can like mess about with the wires while they're still on. Some fresh bite, 11 more on there, 53 on yesterday, too good for them. Now it's probably been a little while since you saw me in a tractor, don't worry, I've not gone soft. We've just got some sheep to feed, we're giving some bales to some of the cheebits so we'll take you over and uh, show, you, show you me doing that. Now usually my good mate Kev helps me with this but today I'm trying to do it so I haven't driven a tractor and 
since I rolled those fields about three years ago and made the video with the Sammy, that's I think the last time I drove my tractor. See this? This is why you don't send a boy to do a man's job. My god, man. <laughs> oh, how am I meant to get out of there? That is the worst place. That, that, that could not have went worse. Wait, and then I, I thought, oh, I need to lift this higher, and I pressed the wrong button, and then I threw this one out here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cammy, that is just, that's your thumbnail. And I've yeah. dumped this one, they're stupid. I can shove this one over the, out the way, but oh my God. That's, how do you get that out there? And then you get a tractor back out as well. And I literally just thought to myself, we need to stop coming through this gateway. Let's just put it in the rough over there. But I thought that's not great because then the sheep have to come through the gateway. What I'm going to do is cut a bit in this fence. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a gate in this fence. We're going to do that this week. No use to sheep having to go through it. To be honest, the sheep don't need to go through that side now. There's no grass anyway. Oh, my God. There's a button for four wheel drive as well. I used to drive one of these tractors when I was a boy, but I can't remember now. What button is four wheel drive? It'll be obvious. PTO, PTO, arms, shafts. Is it this one? I think that is, that means the front wheels are going. Okay, well that's definitely better. That's definitely better. Right. This bale can go here. If I can get off the bale now, will it let the bale go or is it going to be stuck on? Can I go forward? Perfect, right, that's okay there. That's okay there. How do I get this other bale out without phoning Kevin and telling them I'm an absolute friggin' idiot? Oh, right, let's try it. Do you know the funny, the funniest thing is, I'm like, I hope nobody's watching, but at the same time, I'm putting it on YouTube, so it doesn't make any sense. But you know that way, I just hope nobody's watching me right now. There's always a way. There is always a way. Easy game, easy game. Uh, for anyone wondering, by the way, my feet are completely dry. I cannot say enough about these uh, boots, man. Incredible. I mean, it's, it's definitely not my finest hour, uh, if I'm honest. But, and I've made a mess of this because it should be on its end. Better on this end, the dirty end, I think. <sighs> Let's make a couple of holes in it for grip. The good thing is, let me just show you this. While I'm making a me making a fool of myself anyway. <laughs> I have my hernia. I have my hernia thing on. So the hernia doesn't bother me. So we can exert ourselves to the maximum. <laughs> I 
trying to get a grip. Oh, rocket. Oh, it's never happened. Maybe if I've got a better grip, like this. Oh, it's too heavy. It's too heavy for me. Just a sheep man. Right, ring feeders on there, over to where I've abandoned it. And we'll almost be done for the day. Kind of job done. Back through the bog. And back home we go. Definitely need to put a little gateway here for the sheep to get through. Far too mucky that. And I'm going to stop going through with the tractor, that'll help too. Start putting the bales on this little bit. Not bad. Well, that was a long one, and an embarrassing one. I'm, I'm a sheep guy, that's all I know. Thanks for watching sheep fans, that's it for this one. If you got this far, let me know in the comments. Bloody legends.